The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. But what does that mean? Hi, my name is Pastor Leandro Bizama, and in this video, we're going to explore what the Bible means when it says, be still and know that I am God. Stay with me. So as you know, we started a new series called Be Still. But what does that mean? In Psalms 46, 10, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. But what could that possibly mean, right? So let's go ahead and dig deep. In the Bible that Jesus used called the Septuagint, it was a translation from the Hebrew to the Greek. The word that they use for this verse is skolazo, which means like have a holiday, take a holiday, uh, relax. It, it has to do with the word leisure. In fact, did you know that we actually get our word school from this word, scolazzo? And you might think, what does school have to do with holiday or relaxing or leisure, right? Well, you have to understand, and in the Greek culture, you, you, if you're worried about what you're going to eat, if you're worried about everything you have to do, if you're worried about so many things in your life, you're not going to learn. And so only the people that have time, that they don't have to worry, they don't have to be out there working so hard to just grab a bite to eat. If they have people that have time are able to learn something new and think and explore the world. And so that's why to them, those people that had free time, they could learn and they could take time to explore. And so for us, what could we apply this first application? Well, Think about it. We are about to go to our holiday. We're about to go to our Christmas break. We are in our Christmas break. And so now you have free time like you. And what are you going to do with that free time? According to this verse, it's saying that be still and know that I'm God. Now is your free time. Relax. Take, take a holiday from everything that is worrying and stressing you out. And know that I am God. In other words, now you have time to really explore who I am. Now you have time to really think about the most important thing in the universe, the nature and identity of God himself. Be still and know who I am. Well, but if we go a little deeper, let's go to the Hebrew. The Hebrew word used here is Rafa. You can say it, Rafa. <laughs> and it means to rest. It kind of has to do with with like, mm, like maybe letting go or or uh, or stopping stopping an action that is ongoing. Like you're constantly doing something, 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 and then you stop it, and then you 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 put a, put an end to that. Rest, stop, rest, relax. <laughs> Let, let your hand down. Uh, stop fighting. Some translations in this verse says, cease striving, cease fighting, cease trying to do all the things that you're trying to do, cease trying to think about all the things that you're trying to think, think cease trying to, to worry about all the projects, cease trying to get the newest thing and the newest thing. Just stop. Stop worrying about, about whatever it is you're worried about. Some of us worry about work. Some of us worry about grades. Some of us are worried about family. Some of us are worried about relationships. Some of us are worried about ourselves. Some of us are worried about, and some of us are worried that we're not worried about anything. Some of us are worried that we don't feel, we don't feel, and we're numb. And so we, we're just worrying. We're just, we're just thinking, thinking about stuff. And God, and God is saying in this verse, Rafa, stop, hold on. I know you got a million things to do. I understand that. I get that. Just stop. Stop fighting. Stop you know, moving forward and just thinking about all the all this stuff that are stretching you out. He says, stop worrying about all this stuff. And and in reality, as we hear and revive, you know, we have Friday nights and we talk about coming into the rest of God. The Bible talks about rest and let no one tell you that the Bible said God's rest is over. The Bible says there still remains a rest in Hebrews. The Bible says there still remains a rest day for, for, for God's people. And so this is a very important concept for God. Rest, find my rest. Jesus said, I am the peace. I am your peace. And he said, I, I leave my peace with you. It's not the peace like the, like the word gives you. It's my peace. You all need peace. You all, you all are like really, really, really stressed out right now. You're going through a hard time. I want you to come and rest. 
And not it just it's just mean rest and not think about anything. It doesn't mean you rest and waste your time because we we're talking about leisure and free time and stuff. But God says, look, I give you free time for a reason. To get to know me. It says, be still and know that I am God. So rest, stop doing all the things. You've done the work that you could do. You've done all these things that you could do. Now, especially, especially as we go into the Sabbath rest, this idea of rest that is so key to God and what He did from all the way from creation to what He's going to do all the way in the new earth. Rest in Jesus, in His salvation, in His love, in His power, in His peace. Stop! Rafa. It's kind of like what Jesus did on the, to the, you know, when, when there was a storm and, and the disciples were like, don't you care that we're dying? And, he's, and he stood up and he said, you a little faith. And then he's talked to the waves and the wind and he said, stop. Be still. Be still. Rafa. So that's what he tells us. Rest. Stop worrying about what you're worrying about and come into God, into the space of God's presence. You have to learn. We have to learn to put away, to consciously put those things away. And sometimes it takes deep breathing. Sometimes it takes going out in nature, taking a walk, whatever it takes. Sometimes it takes closing your eyes, listening to soft music, whatever it takes, stop. Some of us don't like doing that because don't, we don't like our, the think our thought patterns. We are not used to hearing our own thoughts. But God says, I cannot talk to you other than your thoughts. So don't be afraid of your own thoughts. I am here. That's all that matters. Rafa, and know that I am God. But then the last meaning of this word Rafa, let me tell you what, what I really like about this word Rafa. This last meaning of the word Rafa means to let your guard down. In other words, just to just you know when you when you relax, when you rest, you you bring your defenses down, you let your guard down, you're like, oh, okay. I, I don't want to do that. I don't trust anybody. I can't, I, I can't relax. This, this, this world, you know, we're living in a pandemic or, or this and this and that. I can't, I can't just let my guard down. But this word means let your guard down. Let your defenses down. Let all the walls come down. God is like, stop building up walls. <laughs> like if you are playing some video game, you got to build all this stuff so that I can come in. God says, no, stop building stuff around me. I want to come in and spend time with you. I want you to know me. You know why? Because I am that good. I am what you need, God says. I am your peace that you desperately need. I am that purpose that you're desperately seeking. I am the love. I am everything you possibly ever could dream of. Stop trying to seek things on your own. Rafa, let your God down. God says, in this space, you are safe. You don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to strive right here with me. You don't have to wrestle with me. You don't have to, you know, be worried that you have to defend. I'm not asking you to accomplish anything. I'm not asking you to, to do any, to perform. I'm not asking you to do any homework. I'm not asking you to do anything. Just stop. Come into my presence and let your guard down. Put down your weapons. And if you read the verse before, for Psalm 46, 9, it talks about how God will finally put an end to war and he will destroy the shields, it says. He says, let your guard down, put your weapons down, soldier. In this place, you don't need to fight. No one here is going to hurt you. In fact, God says, you can trust, you can trust me. In fact, if there's anything you can trust in the universe, it's me. God says, I am. I am. That's why the, the, the Bible verse says, be still and know that I am. Be intimate with me. I'm not asking you to even pray. Some of us are like, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to come into God's presence. I don't know how to do that. God says, I don't need you to say any specific thing. I just need you to be with me. I just need you to stop thinking that you have to do all these things and perform all these things and you're worried and you're fight and, and you're fighting against me and, and you're fighting against anybody and you're fighting because you can't trust anybody and you're fighting yourself and you don't forgive yourself you don't forgive anybody and you're just you're just a, a 
just a machine and you don't realize what you need to do. Stop and understand that you can trust me. You can let your guard down here. It's a safe space in my presence. Don't worry about what you have to say. Don't worry about what you have to do. I've already done everything. So come sit next to me for a while. You don't have to say anything. I'm here. I can read your heart. Just open it up. Stop putting your guard up. Stop putting your barriers up. That's what the verse says. Be still and know that I am God. And so revive today as we, just a short verse, right? Just a short devotional, just a short thought. But man, how much we need it. In this Christmas break, in this season of struggle, of strife, of worrying, of fighting, of stress. God is telling us, be still and get to know me. May we spend our free time, our holiday, our leisure in getting to know God, just being in his presence, understanding that it's the safest place in the universe. We don't have to pretend. We don't have to try to, uh, to, to impress him. We just have to be open to his power and his presence. Practice it tonight. Put the phone down, put everything down, say, God, I'm here. Teach me to Rafa. Teach me to be still. Let's pray. Hey, Heavenly Father, I thank you that you call us tonight to be still and know that you are God. Some of us don't know who you are. Some of us don't know what Yahweh means. Help us to explore. Help us to use our free time to explore, to learn, not just anything, but you. To come into an intimate relationship with you. Just to be with you. Thank you for giving us a safe space. A space where we don't have to worry about anything. Where we don't have to fight. Where we don't have to think how we can impress you. But we just come as we are. Let our guard down break down our walls and may we be still and know who you are in the name of Yeshua in the name of Jesus Christ let everyone say Amen God bless you we'll see you revive next week